Hey friends, Logan Mels here with Dream Guitars. This is a delightful instrument. This is a 2016 OM from the master himself, Mr. Irvin Samaji. Uh, serial number 464. This is the uh, middle child, so to speak, in a trilogy of guitars that um, a client commissioned um, from Irvin. And so this is the OM non-cutaway, um, mid-range, you know, or, excuse me, mid-size instrument. And the voice sort of exemplifies that. Um, you have that Samaji bottom end, that really strong bass response, that powerful, you know, immediate bottom end. But you also have a really articulate mid-range that keeps up with that bass response super well. And you have really sweet, liquidy trebles um, that, again, keep up. So the mix across the registers is flawless on this guitar. Um, it's super well balanced. You know, big chords ring out in all of their glory. Um, you don't have to worry about one you know, register range, you know, taking precedent over the others. Um, it's just fantastic. And of course, you know, this is great for finger style. Um, this has a, a short scale setup. It's 24.9 inches and a 14 fret neck joint here as well. Uh, Brazilian rosewood for the back and sides, European spruce um, for this one, uh, with some nice bear coin figure. And of course we have some super dope aesthetics. Um, we have this chip carved koi fish and we have the patio stone headstock, which we will get to. But um, let's start with that koi. So European spruce with some nice uh, bear coin figure, which I'm always happy to see. And then this uh, uh, koi here is super intricately executed and not easy to do folks. Um, Irvin pulls this off just with a couple of really sharp knives. And, you know, you're dealing with a very thinly, um, th thinly thicknessed, so to speak, um, top that's, you know, it's very responsive. That's the whole idea, hence responsive guitar. Um, but to carve into it is, you know, um, hair raising, frankly. It's, that, that is, I, I assume, it, <laughs> a stressful experience. But Irvin happens to be a master at it, and he happened to have done a very good, very clean job on this one. Um, and I love the use of red washi paper. That's kind of a thing that he does. Um, not enough builders use red in their aesthetics, frankly, and I think it's great. It really pops against that European spruce top, and it just looks good, man. We also have the uh, bar, abalone bar. Um, fingerboard inlays. Coming around to the sides, that red motif continues. We have red um, position markers on the sides here. And then the Brazilian rosewood is also from Irvin's Minerva stash, um, where we have this really cool ink lines through here. It's very straight grained quarter sawn stuff. And there's more straight grained quarter sawn stuff. Um, this is like, you know, the primo, primo, primo top shelf Brazilian rosewood. You don't really see a whole lot of this line around anymore, and I'm so happy to see it here employed on one of Irvin's guitars. That is. Mm. At the heel, you will notice, just like with the other guitars, this has a, a sailboat motif inlaid right there at the top of the heel. Very well done at that. Um, and this is a good opportunity to discuss the low profile heel, which helps you get to those top frets. Um, even though this guitar doesn't have a cutaway on it, uh, that low profile heel kind of helps your left hand um, deal with those pesky, dusty upper frets. Coming up, the neck profile, um, very curvy in hand, feels great, frankly. Um, it's a full neck profile, I wouldn't say it's chunky, but um, you know, more on the, the full side. And here we have Irvin's classic uh, headstock profile with this kind of like crenellations on the top, which I just I love, it looks so good. And we have uh, custom Rogers tuners here with snake with buttons, um, also Irvin's volute, which feels so nice. Flip it around to the front. Um, this also features his patio stone headplate veneer. And that, just like with the, um, the chip carving koi uh, top, is a lot of work goes into creating these, um, these veneers. And, you know, frankly, it looked great. Um, you know, that work certainly pays off. And it just looks really cool. And I love how that green really pops. Um, creates kind of a fun contrast to the red aesthetics elsewhere. And yeah. So, if you would like to learn more about this 2016 OM from Mr. Irvin Samaji, uh, give us a shout. Cheers.